Jackie eats all that, she won't get into a bikini, never mind a wedding dress. I just want to make sure she doesn't forget what she's missing while she's lazing on a beach with you two. Have you told him yet? Oh, that's a beautiful morning outside. Have you seen it? Obviously not. Just waiting for the right moment. Well, what time is your flight? A bit late for that. I'll come back do it. And, um, just give me some time. Done, exactly. Very kind of you. Oh, I just can't wait to see the back of you, that's all. It'd be great to have the place to ourselves, won't it, Nate? Yeah! Oh, yes. Are you all packed, Vic? No. You're leaving it late. I'm not going. What? Why? I'm not in the mood. It's Jackie's hen party. Yeah, but I'd ruin it if I was there. You'll ruin it if you're not. I just can't, OK? Does she know you're not going? I'll tell her later. <laughs> Vic, you can't do this. You can't leave me on my own with that lot. You'll manage. Listen, Lindsay Corhill's going. It's going to be the worst hen party in history. Well, you could always stay here with me. Well, I could, but it wouldn't be fair on the others. Well, in that case, then we're going to have to make the most of our last few hours together. Oh, yeah, by doing what? Well, you're going to need to work up a few calories after that little lot. Oh, I'm sorry, Nate, but I can't. Why not? Well, I want to go around and see Susanna, you know, find out about these prostitute cards that have been scattered all over the place. <sighs> so I'm losing a morning in bed with a woman I love because of a stupid prank? No, it's more than a prank. What, you think Susanna's a prostitute? No, but I'm a bit worried. Why? Because she's a woman living on her own with two kids. Ah, now we're getting to it. Who knows what effect it could have on them? Them or him. It's still safe for you to fly, you know. Yeah, I know. It's only in the last couple of months that it's a problem. I'm not worried about flying, I just don't want to go. But you should go. Like, you might not be able to have a drink, but you can still have a good time. I don't, and I can't. Why? Excuse me, can I count on you two not voting in this local election? Pardon? The local election. You won't be voting, will you? I'm sorry, I've got more important things on my mind at the moment. That's what I like to hear. Take the leaflet. Jimmy, why don't you let the doctor take a look at your cut? Look, I'm sorry, I really don't have the time. If you want to pop inside, it's... Oh, it's... it's all right, it's all right, Doc. It's just a graze. See you later. It looks very deep to me. Thanks, Meg. I'll put a plaster on it when I get home. Oh, what do you think, Doc? He's fine. I gave him a tetanus jab a couple of weeks ago. Doc, take a leaflet. And remember, stay away on the 4th of May. Love, excuse me. Can I fix the savvy? It's a good job my dad's gone out. She's going mad. If you tell anyone, I'll kill you. Now get out. Get out! Why didn't you tell me? Good Friday, you should have known. On Good Friday, we don't eat meat, that's all. Well, that's a cop-out. If you want to be poor, we've got to be more committed than that. It's kippers. I've cooked them special. You love kippers. And they're lovely, Mum. Come on, Anthony, they're your favourite. I'm not usually keen on kippers, but these are top. Why are you tempting me, Mum? Why are you doing Satan's dirty work? We always have kippers on Good Friday. Your dad complains otherwise. I'm sorry, I've got to resist temptation. Mmm, smell those lovely kippers. Get behind me, Satan. You've got to eat something. Child dies of hunger every two seconds in the third world. And you want me to waste good kippers on the dog? Give them to Steve. He's gone training. <sighs> Look, what you're doing is really good. But can't you do it tomorrow? What? Cheat, you mean? Your dad's just gone to Uncle Christie's. They've got your derby ticket for tonight. Have they? You can't go to Goodison on an empty stomach. You'll be too weak to cheer when Liverpool win. You'll pass out. If Liverpool win at Goodison, he won't be the only one. <sighs> the derby ticket's a message from God. It's a reward. I couldn't care less about you. What do you know about religion? I know you'll never be Pope. I will. Even me mum said, didn't you, mum? Eat your kippers, Adele. Did you, mum? It's a hard job to get. Do you doubt me? There's not many openings for Popes. In other words, you've got no chance. Don't you want your kids to be ambitious? Of course I do, love. <sighs> you want them to settle for a dead-end job, don't you? No. Pope's a dead-end job. At least I'm not orange. Shut up, Anthony. There's nobody orange in this house. Yep, there is. And stop being sectarian. <sighs> I'm gonna get you for that. 
You scared of one of that? Yes, I am. Why? Don't you want kids? I want our kids. He's nothing to do with us. He's grown up. Susanna, she's the only mother he knows. You can't suddenly change your mind now, years later. I haven't changed my mind. Good, because it wouldn't be fair on the child. In custody cases, it's always the child's welfare that counts. You entered into a transaction with Susanna, you fulfilled your part of the contract, and that's where your involvement ends. Oh, for God's sake, Nathan! Hello, is there anyone in there hiding behind that solicitor? This is not about transactions and contracts. It's about a woman living on her own with two kids. I just want to go round there and tell her about the cards. But why do you have to go now? Because now is the time she'll be getting all sorts of weird phone calls, and now is the time she'll be absolutely terrified every time a phone rings. Money for the deposit, we can move straight in. Well, it won't be for a couple of weeks. Well, the flat might have gone by then. Why don't you let me lend you the money? Would you do that for us then? If it's what you want. Oh, thank you. I never knew you were so keen to get rid of us. Ha ha. <laughs> Nick! Nick, open the door! Are you sure you're all right, love? Oh, let me in quick. What's oh, come on in. You don't want to take any of their diet. She's like a dog on heat, that one. What can I do for you? I want a word with Emily. She's out, I'm afraid. Is it to do with work? In a way, yeah. Is she not happy there? She loves it. She's not getting fed up just making coffee and doing the odd shampoo. She hasn't said anything. Well, you can tell her from me that if she wants to get on in hairdressing, she needs to learn to walk before she can run. Right. And the last thing she wants to do is start experimenting on the boss's daughter. Why what she's on? <laughs> it's not funny. I take it you didn't ask for that colour dye. <laughs> it's not funny. I know it's not funny. It's not funny. I feel like a lit match. What did you use? Washing glow? <laughs> Kill <laughs> Auntie. <laughs> Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, forever and ever. Amen. Thou shalt not cover it. Thou shalt not cover it. No way. That's how Adam fell by the wayside. Trying to explain me manifesto to some head the ball on the parade. Oh, and I got a bit carried away. Caught the corner of me head on a placard. Could have had your eye out. Oh, it's only a scratch. Ray's been carrying it ever since. It was a job to get it off him, though. Thanks for looking after him, Ray. Oh, it's no bother. Where's our Lindsay? Town. Ah, right. Going to get a few last minute bits for her holiday, I'll bet. Oh, come on, Jackie, you saw her this morning. It's a while since we've seen her that happy. Go on, admit it. I was right, wasn't I? This holiday is just what she needs. I don't want to discuss it in front of Ray. Do you want our cross bun, Ray? Uh, oh, no, thanks. I'd better be going. Ray, take no notice. She's in a narc because she doesn't like to admit it when I'm in the right. He knows all about it. Oh, do you? Well, only that uh, Jimmy paid for Lindsay to go to Benidorm. Do you know it was our savings he used? Our savings, not his. Uh, no, no, I didn't. Do you know that now we haven't got two pennies to rub together? If anything unexpected happens, we've had it. I'll tell you what he does now. To see the smile on the face of your child is worth ten times more than having a load of money in the bank doing nothing. Sh shall I get the door? No, I'll get it. <sighs> Don't you think I'd like to treat my kids now and again? Then do it. We can't afford it. Jimmy, I know it wasn't your fault that you lost your job at the burger place, but until you get another job, I'm the breadwinner again. So don't be wasting our money, all right? Ray, we're not that hard up. Listen, I'll tell you something. When I get a job, I'm going to treat her cos I love her. Right, come on, let's get moving. Back out on those streets, eh, kidder? We've got babies to kiss. It's Pedro. Leanne, it's a croissant. Well, what's the difference? It's French. Oh, you should be ashamed of yourself. Why? Not the way they went on about our beef. <laughs> Leanne, we don't talk about beef in here. It's beefcake you've got on your mind, isn't it? What? Don't worry, I felt exactly the same when I found out she was a dealer. I'll let her into my house and everything. 
Makes you look really cheap and nasty, doesn't it? Look, I'm really not in the mood. You got a car bomb because I pinched him off you? No, we should take him sooner. No our feelings then, eh? Vic, what is going on? Why aren't you going? Because I don't want to. Do you think I want to do a package deal to Benador? Hey, there's nothing wrong with Benador. You're the only one going who could make it even halfway bearable. Oh, stuck for a mate, are you? Will you excuse us, please? <laughs> we were having a heart to heart, if you don't mind you, we're putting it. It's only a week. Together we might get through it. Tell you what, plenty of beefcake and Benador. Look, I'm not going, will you please both leave me alone? It's all booked, it's paid for. Is it? For Jackie's sake, if not for mine. It's a hen party. Please say you'll come. Be ashamed to let that ticket go to waste. Bev's absolutely right. I'll take it. <laughs> We've got a habit of picking up my car stuffs. Use it or bin it, I don't care. Oh, you jammy cow! It's booked in your name. I'll change it. What about your croissants? <laughs> Sorry, but you're not invited. Oh, it was an oversight, probably. They'll have thought I was busy or something. But me and Jackie, you know, we're practically family. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Don't worry, girl. I'll make it bearable for you. With me there, it will be the best hem party ever. change the number. How did they get it in the first place? I don't know. What if they find out my address? They, they won't believe me. They're just sad, inadequate. You know, they'd be scared to death if they actually came face to face with a woman. Look, you unplug your phone. While you wait to get your number changed, use your mobile. They'll soon go away, OK? Anyway, time to go over and get you some clothes. I'll take you never got round to having that bath. Mm. Oh, it's like getting six numbers on the lottery and losing your ticket. What is it? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, okay. <sighs> I've just got a free ticket for a week in Benidorm for Jackie's hen do. Congratulations, when are you going? Oh, no. Why? I've got no one to look after Josh. Pull the bat. Well, Mike can do that. It's Josh that's the problem. Yeah, well, Rachel's going as well, you know. So? Well, Mike's going to be too busy looking after his own sprog. He'll cope. <sighs> he won't. Well, it doesn't matter, does it? Cos I'm not going anyway. Oh, I wish I'd made more of me use. I mean, I love Josh to bits, but the things you miss out on being a mother. Still, it all swings and roundabouts, I suppose. You must miss out on a lot being a lair's do you, show. I don't think so. No, don't you wish you could test your maternal instincts? No, not just a little bit. <laughs> no. Leanne, you might as well throw this in the bin. I know it's a waste, but I won't be using it. Nice toast. Is it? Mm. I'm in the flat all next week, you know. Oh, yeah? I could look after Josh, I suppose. No, 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 no! I wouldn't ask you to do that! Why? Because you're a dyke. It's not that. I want Josh to have a multicultural upbringing. I'm not prejudiced. It's just... It's too big a favour to ask. Well, if you don't trust me... Is that what you think? Well, then, you can do it. No problem. If that's what it takes to prove that I trust you, then that's what we'll do. You can look after Josh. I'm honoured. And who's going to look after this place? I've told you. I see. He'll hardly be here, but he'll be in charge. Leanne, you haven't been here long enough. But I've been told by the best, Bev. You? You're the best. All I want is to repay some of the kindness that you showed me when you took me on in this place. But just because I've been to jail, you don't even want to give me the chance. Now, that is prejudice too, you know. All right, all right. While I'm away, you can look after the ball. Oh, thanks, Bev. I promise I won't let you down. Just get that ticket out the bin. Is that wise? It's only a title. I can keep an eye on things. Are you insured? Why is this happening to me, Mick? Hey, don't blame yourself. It could have happened to anybody. No, I'm not blaming myself. It's whoever. On the phone. I... What am I going to do? The house is ruined. Hey, we'll soon get it fixed. And where am I going to live? You could always move in with me. Oh, Mick, it's really sweet of you, but I couldn't... Have... It'd be such an imposition. No, I wouldn't. I'd like you to move in. Oh, 
something? We had a flood, but it's under control now, so... Do you mind? Well, the front door was open and I was... How does it happen? But I was running a bath. Uh, well, the phone rang and I got scared. Someone's been making pervy phone calls. Not someone, lots of people. God. Oh, why are these bad things happening to me, Jackie? It must be Max. He must be behind all this. This is what's been an Oh, he's gone too far. He's their father. He wouldn't put them through this. It must be him. Or, or next door. Or, or a stranger who doesn't know it, but somebody's got it in for me. Oh, darling, please. Oh, Nick. You couldn't take him, could you? I'll take this real fella around to my place. And look, it's okay. The insurance will sort it out. I'll get on to them now. Yeah. Come on, mate. See him. It's a pity Greg's not here. Well, Harry and Emma here when it happened. Mick had them. Susanna, is all this good for the children? All this? Do you think I've got any control over it? No, not this. I mean, first Greg, and then Max, and now me. What's that got to do with anything? Well, Harry and Emma, they are aware of the surroundings. <laughs> their surroundings? They're, they're, they're surrounded by water. Their house has been flooded, and you want to talk to me about my sex life? <sighs> it's like you said, then. It looks like someone's got it in for you. You've made an enemy. Maybe it is Max. Or someone to do with Greg. Or someone to do with me. Or maybe it's you. Me? You had the card. Susanna, they're all over the parade. Maybe you want to put me under pressure. Make out I'm a bad mother and then pounce. I know you're upset. Well, I only left those taps on because I was being harassed by a sex pest and that does not make me a bad mother. I never said that. I didn't run out of the house because I wanted to be with Harry and Emma. <sighs> All right, Susanna. I admit it. I am worried about Harry. Well, he's my son, not yours. And I'm worried about you too. You mean nothing to him. And if that's what you're expecting for a wedding present, then you can forget it. Listen, you, I came round here as a friend. The men in my life, they come and go, but my children mean everything to me, and I'm never going to give them up. Either of them, so you can get out! Oh, my God. <sighs> Jimmy! Look at that, man. More than one way to get your message across. What do you think? I got you, and you can resist it. I knew you were there. I mean, how can you hide with a head like that? I'm gonna make you eat. I'm gonna force you. Hey, Nan, them boxes are still in the shed. As far as I know. Well, can I use them? I'm going to start sorting out all my stuff, you know, for me flat. OK, love. Well, mind, half my stuff's in our Emily's room. Well, now we're on our own, I want to know all the gory details. What gory details? Your hot date with Ray. It wasn't gory. What was it, then? Oh, it was lovely. It was really romantic. Where did he take you? The Walton Picture House. Have you ever been? You can't get into Walton without a passport, can you? <laughs> It was fabulous. It was like stepping back in time. And uh, is he still sleeping in his caravan? For the time being. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Mum! Mum! She's trying to force me to eat and I'm too big with hunger to defend myself. That's not very nice, is it? Your brother's doing something really good for the starving children in the world. He spat at me. I won't eat a chocolate leg that you was tempting me with. You put it in your mouth, you must have ate some of it. I didn't. You must have melted a bit. <sighs> Tell her to leave me alone, Mum. Oh, why are you trying to spoil it for him? Because she's the devil, the devil in the desert, tempting me. <sighs> when you do hear the savvy mum look for three sixes. <sighs> but Mum. All right, I'm going. Ooh, that was very impressive. More chocolates? Oh, I'm sorry, son. I didn't mean to tempt you. Oh, it's okay for me. 
I can go now, but my mum's got to sit here and talk to you. And she's given up chocolate for Lent. Mine. Mine. Cheeky cow. Mine. Mine. Oh, she can have me. I think losing his job really affected him. It's only a big about. No, I wasn't talking about that job. Mm. Well, when he finds another one, he'll be all right. It's just a phase. So I didn't know him when he was a teacher. No, well, that's right, Ray, you didn't. But when he was, he went through this stupid tapestry phase. And before that, well, I'm not even going to go into it, but believe me, I've been through all his phases. This is nothing. This is just something to keep him occupied. I mean, it's not his fault he lost his job. It is his fault. Why? Well, he's not facing up to reality, so it's about time you did. Well, what do you mean? He got the sack. And I'm terribly worried about him. She was so freaked out, she flooded the house. So it was more than just a prank. I'm sorry. I was wrong. Oh, it's OK. You've forgiven. I couldn't go away without making it up with you. It had totally ruined me. Hmm. Oh. Do you want me to put the cases in the bar? Yeah. Well said, that man. Hey, this my not coming going to totally ruin your week. Oh, it's OK, Vic, I understand. I wish I did. It's just that I've got a few things to sort out. I know. Just don't rush into anything while I'm away, OK? I won't. <laughs> so, are you really all right about this? Yeah. And you're okay about Vic giving her ticket to that dreadful Bev woman? Oh, you didn't, did you? She won't use it. She was she was on the phone to the travel agent as soon as you left the bar. I just passed her on the stairs. She had a suitcase and a sombrero. I'm so sorry. Oh no. <sighs> Lindsay Corkill and Bev McLaughlin. This is gonna be the holiday from hell. Pray for me, you two. Um, I'll get these suitcases done then for you, shall I? Oh, thanks. That'll be great. What was that between you and Jackie? Nothing. Well, she was saying that, um, she understood why you weren't going. So? Well, only I'm not certain that I do. I'm in no fit state. You're pregnant. It's not an illness. But I don't want to be. Why? I'm really sorry, Darren. I don't want this baby. What you call this, then? Sorry, Fred, to yours. Craig, his name was... Excuse me, but who did Bev leave in charge? You can't expect me not to take part in a decision concerning our child. It's massive. Where are you going now? Well, I'm not going to exploit anyone. I'm going to pack my bags. Come Easter Sunday, Four presents a Martin Scorsese classic. Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci and Sharon Stone all star in the crime drama Casino at 10. Up next, Ross and Rachel remember how it used to be. Good timing. Those invites to Ross's wedding are about to go in the post. Jack. Have you been looking through my wardrobe? Shouldn't I have been? Listen, Nicky, I don't want you snooping through my room. Why? Afraid you might find something, are you? No! Well, you should be. Oh, yes, yeah, spying on me now, are you? What's going on? Nothing. I'm just off down the shops either of you want anything. No, thanks, Nan. Right. What you 
call this, then? Jackie? You seen the Anna? And there you go, Alice. Where have you been? Went into town. Saw a friend of yours. Oh, the guy down near the hill there. Oh, we have plenty to say about you. Full of us, he was. Oh, right. Friend of Manor Park, was he? All about the arch and all that. Hope you told him what happened. Said you used to teach him at school. Oh, right. Working now, is he? Yeah, a bigger big as Craig, his name was. Oh, Craig, yeah. What else did he have to say? He said he was sorry to see you go. Oh, right. Reckoned it was strange, you know, you being his old teacher and him being your boss. It was strange, though. Especially when he had to sack you! We had all this out when I found us about your dirty weekend in Blackpool. It wasn't dirty. And, yeah, you're going to start being honest with me, weren't you? Listen, Nicky, I'm being honest with you, but you don't believe me. Did Tim help you? No. But he knows about it, though. Yeah, but... He said it was a bad idea. Too right it was. They are pretty professional, though. Did you do them on a computer? Yeah. Well, someone must have helped you then. Nicky, we've got computers in school. How would you expect me to be honest with you when you're being like this? Well, if you just talked to me before you went ahead and did things, I wouldn't have to be like this. I don't like Susanna Morrissey any more than you do. But she has got two kids in that house. Yeah. And we had three kids in this house before she got involved with me dad. But now, there's only two. It doesn't give you the right to persecute Susanna. Look, I know I was wrong and I shouldn't have done it. It was stupid and I'm sorry. Em, when you go and do things like this, it's like you're unstable. I'm really worried about you. Nikki, I was worried about you last year as well when you kept on going out and getting drunk all the time. It's different. That was because of Luke Musgrove, because no one would believe me. But you don't believe me! And how do you expect me to when all you do is lie to me all the time? Listen, it was just that one time, and I'm sorry, I won't do it again. I've got no reason to. You better not. Does that mean you won't tell me now? I'll make it the slightest way if you're involved in anything. You me. won't! I didn't say anything because I didn't want to worry you. Oh, no. No! Or you wouldn't have been sacked in the first place, would you? And you wouldn't have given all our money away to Lindsay knowing you weren't getting any benefits for the next six months. Because that's what it means, doesn't it, Jimmy? You don't get a flaming bean even though you gave away all my money. There was plenty of money in that account. Fancy! Every penny was accounted for! Because that's what I have to do, you see. All these extra shifts. Have you got any idea what it was like trying to get us through Christmas counting every penny? Well, I'm still getting over that, Jimmy. Yeah, all this time later, and I'm still recovering from Christmas. I'm sorry, love. Just get away from me. Get off me. I don't want you near me. I've become a bird, haven't I? That's exactly what you are. <sighs> Why didn't you tell me earlier? <sighs> Where are you going now? Well, I'm not going to exploit anyone. I'm going to pack my bags. Bye. What are you doing, Holmes? Your day off, is it? I thought I'd do you some lunch. I'm not due until later, I'm on call. I've started it already. I've uh, just got my appointment. They're gonna take me tomorrow. Oh, that was quick. I thought you were only thinking about it. Yeah, but the sooner the better, though, isn't it? Well, yeah, but I mean, you don't want to be too hasty. It's something which needs to be thought through properly. Agonized enough, believe me. Never even mentioned it until last night. To you. Who have you discussed it with? Jackie. Well, she wouldn't have suggested rushing into a termination, surely? She was very supportive, actually. Well, it's hard to be supportive when you don't discuss things with me. Yeah, well, I didn't need to ask what you'd think. I had no idea you were so serious about this. I, to be honest, I, I thought it was 
nerves or something. Oh, well, you should know me better than that, Doc. Look, you can't expect me not to take part in a decision concerning our child. It's massive. But there'll be other chances. We've got a whole future together. I really just need more time. What are you afraid of, exactly? Everything. I can't possibly have a baby now. Why on earth not? Mainly because I'm a selfish, screwed-up cow who can't even look after herself, let alone a child, would be fair. Can I translate that? You're a very colourful person, <laughs> who's had it rough lately, <laughs> who'd make a fantastic mother. Come on. I spent the last few months swinging between drunkenness and promiscuity. That's the colourful bit. Doc, my husband's only been dead a few months. We've only just got back together. Look, I'm not saying it's ideal, but we're a team. And that's the whole point of getting married. <phone rings> Sorry. You're needed elsewhere. Are you punishing me for having a go at you? No. You were right. I've become a liability. If I'd realised it sooner, I would have been off then. I didn't want you to go! You don't have to say that. I don't blame you for what's happened. I know you told the school I faked my qualifications, but I had to come in any I told you I was sorry about that. Yeah, I know. But you did the right thing. I never should have expected you to lie. I was wrong. And I've used it as an excuse to sponge off you ever since. I don't mind keeping you as long as you pull your waist. Yeah, but I mind. I mind being kept. We've got Leanne trying to help boss Bev. My dad's at home trying to help granddad Sinbad. He's doing me head in. My dad's taking the baby to get a photograph taken today to show how wonderful he looked together. And where's our leader now? We've got no-one to do the pots cos two of the lunch staff are phoned in sick. I wonder why. Don't panic, though. We've got it all boxed off. Sam? You're doing it. I I'm not doing the dishes. I manage the bar. Well, not today, we don't. So who's going to organise the bar, then? Me and Tom, boy. He's not qualified. Yeah, he's right. I mean, I'll just do the pots. Uh, I'm going to be giving you some personal tuition. You're not even qualified to organise the bar yourself. Excuse me, but who did Bev leave in charge? That means me, does it? It's only for a bit. I've called in a couple of reserves and they're on the way. Oh, but Mike, someone threw up outside the back door last night, so clear that up while you're at it, will ya? It's unhygienic. Now then, I'm all yours. You've got to think of yourself and the kids. But they need you here. They need stability. That's exactly what I've never been able to give them. I cause chaos. I always have. I'm going before I do any real damage. I understand you feel guilty, love. But there's no need. I brought all this on myself. I told you, I don't want you to go. You're afraid of change. We all are. What's got us into this mess in the first place? Oh, so that's it? I ask you to help, you just pack your bags and walk away? Well, that's a big help, that is. No, I'm making a difficult decision for you. Because you're too good to do it yourself. This time it's up to me to do the right thing. I'm just glad you've given me the chance to do it. You walk out that door, Jimmy, and I never want to see you again. Got a patient. This is important, Darren. Um, 
Should we go somewhere? I, um... I want you to pretend you're my doctor. Um, OK. I'm pregnant, Doc. Come on. Uh, well, agreed. That's excellent. Um, you seem to be in good health without looking at your records. Oh, well, you see, that's where you're wrong. But you're only a perfect specimen. I've been taking drugs. Not lately. Lately, I've been drinking heavily. Just how heavily? Completely smashed, as often as possible. So I get this urge to go mad and can't stop myself. Even after I knew I was pregnant. My husband died recently, you see. It's really screwed me up. What about your, um, friends? Have you got a support network around you? Yeah, but it hasn't helped. Even though they love me and they mean well, it hasn't stopped me feeling like I'm losing it. What about your partner? I'm assuming you have one. He's lovely. And I know he'd want me to go through with it. But he doesn't realise how messed up I am. Not by a long way. But that's only because he loves me so much. I think he doesn't want to see it. So, as my doctor, what would you advise? Obviously, if I was your doctor, I wouldn't be surprised if you were considering an abortion. What if I'd made my decision? This is ridiculous. Tell me what you'd say. I'd, I'd want to know if you discussed it thoroughly with your partner before I said anything. But it's my body, Doc. It's my decision, surely. It's our child. You're... Going through some things now, yes, but in a few weeks you'll be fine. You're just not listening, are you? And you're not thinking straight. That's my point. I thought you'd be able to see it better than me. Slowly, yeah. yeah, or it's bed out here. Mm. <laughs> oh, careful! Oh, sorry, it um, just went off. Oh, I bet you say that to all the girls, don't you, Tim? Um, what? What are you doing, Tim? Um, I'm just checking um, the pipes. Oh, hi, Emma. What are you doing here? Looking for you. I want a word. Oh, hi. Are you old enough to be in here? And what's I got to do with you? Hey, she's the boss here today. Oh, right. Sorry. It's okay. I'll sort it. I mean, she's always coming in. I'll just throw it out, eh? Hey, you're too young to be in here. Tim, what are you doing? Get off. I'll talk to you out here. Tim, stop it. You're making a show of me. Well, you shouldn't come when I'm working, then, should you? I need to talk to you. Look, I'll be finished in a few minutes. Just come on, then. Look, Nicky knows. I bought the cards. Oh, God. We're dead. Somewhere nice. What's it to you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just making conversation. Is everything all right? Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, but well, the likes of you won't be able to go pointing your finger anymore, saying, "Oh, there's that scrounger, Jimmy. How does Jackie put up with him?" Yeah, well, no more. What on earth are you on about? You and that realtor of yours. Yeah, well, you won't be able to interfere anymore, cos I'm off. I won't go darkening your doorsteps again. Oh, no! Don't you think that I'll be there for you? 
don't need to be. Not in that way, not yet. It's not as if I don't have a bit of job security. Yeah, and I'm nowhere. Career girl without a career. Are you trying to tell me that you're worried about your career? Oh, so you expect me to drop everything and become a housewife, do you? No. Obviously not. We can get all the help we need. What concerns me is that you're changing your argument. One minute it's your state of mind, the next it's your career. What am I supposed to think? I'm a mess. There's something you're not telling me. No, I keep telling you. I'm just not ready. It's, it's me, isn't it? it? You don't really want me? You don't want my children? No, that's exactly what I do want. Just not now. You know, can't you see? It, you're carrying our child. That's so precious. You wouldn't possibly be getting rid of it if there wasn't some huge reason. Now, you don't want me? You don't trust me? You, 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 you don't, you're not ready to commit to me? No. Maybe you can't admit it to yourself, but it's clear as day to me. What are you doing here? I know about the cards. Look, I told her that was a bad idea. Did you help her? Me? No way. I'm worried about it, Tim. Me too. And why are you worried? You know, because of the cards and that. Oh, she admitted that and all. But it was there he put the pawn through Susanna's door. Huh. There's no way she would have said that. There's no way she would have said that. Well, there's no way she would have done that. Um, done that? No way. Look, I really care about Emily. I wouldn't lie to you. I'd tell you if anything was going on. Would you? Yeah, defo. Do you remember that weekend? You know, when the two years went away to Blackpool? Yeah. Wasn't that the same weekend that Susanna's car got burnt out? Um, I don't know. I can't remember. That was ages ago. Well, I remember. Definitely was that weekend. Look, do you think me and Emily had something to do with this? There's no way she would have done something like that. I didn't let her. Well, oh, Tim, it's down to me to look after our Emily now. We've been through so much, me dad, me brother. It's like she's the most precious thing in the world to me. And you know, if I find out she's involved in anything shady or risky with anyone, I swear to God, I'd kill them. Jimmy. Oh, love, come and sit down. Leanne, it's up to the boss to order the beers, so do you want to have a look at the figures? Let me know what you think we need. All right, yeah. Well, what do you reckon? Sorry, Gaffer's decision. I see. Come here, let's have a look. Well, we're looking at the figures. I reckon there's plenty, don't you? Yeah, we'll be all right. So we'll leave it for this week, then? Yeah, yeah, just leave it. All right, then. Oh, he hasn't seen him. He hasn't been to our vals. You poor thing. You must be worried sick. Well, I didn't think he was serious. Next thing he's out the house, I, I couldn't believe it. What did he say to you? No, well, I told him he wasn't pulling his waist and he just upped and packed. Oh, uh, he's probably just trying to make a point. You know what men are like. They like to feel useful. Well, he's the one who got himself sacked. Jackie, he'll be back before you know it. I don't know, Jess. He seemed pretty serious. No, I am worried. I... I said a few things I didn't mean, you know. Well, the mood he was in when I saw him, I'm not surprised. He was downright rude to me. <laughs> I mean, he took one bag with him. What's he going to do? Finish your drinks off now, folks. Come on. Come on, haven't you got errands to go to? Come on, clear off. Come on now. 
I just want to understand. I think I have that right. And if I don't understand it myself? Then wait a few days, a few weeks even, so you, you do know what you think. I don't think I'll ever really know. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Vic. Mark dies. Two days later, you want us to get it together because it's what Mark would have wanted. Never mind how you feel, just do it because it makes sense. Now when it makes perfect sense for us to have this baby, you want to go ahead and have an abortion the very next day. I mean, what, is that the connection? Everything has to be done now or tomorrow? and the, You can't wait more than a few days for anything? Ah, oh, well, who knows, eh, Doc? See, now you're trying to get me to blow up so that you can just run out again. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. I guess I have no choice in this. If you go through with this abortion tomorrow, that's it. You and I are finished forever. Do you really mean that? More than I've ever meant anything. Can I go now, then? She doesn't want me. We're finished. I don't like to tempt fate like, but I'm late. Real tense for you now. The People's Counselor! You're making this so hard. Just looking at some sand down in. I also saw someone lying down before. I didn't think he'd still be there. Next tonight, going to see a man about a van in Deals on Wheels. Please don't start again. Vic, I deserve one minute at least. No. Go back to work. Please, will you just let me... You're making this so hard. Because I'm concerned about our baby. Darren, there isn't going to be one. Don't 
do this to me. I'm begging you. Please, just see me before you make any decisions. Right. I've made my decision. You do this thing. You know what I've said. Sorry, Josh, but we're busing it into town today. My naughty car's playing up. Looking forward to Kids Club. Yep, playing football today. How are you? Jimmy? <laughs> A new era. Almost violent age, or what? Pardon? The bloody Renaissance hundreds of years ago. Homo sapiens, and we're still killing? What? I taught history to kids. Hoping they'd get the message, pass it on. Nobody listens. Jimmy, what's the matter? Using metal Does Jackie know you're here? <laughs> she doesn't want me. We're finished. <laughs> I like this, sir, madam. Uh, Nanny went up before. Uh, do you know when he's back? <sighs> Don't know. Any message? Uh, just to let him know that my dad's going to bring Beth over later for him. <sighs> Not another kid in here. How do you mean? <sighs> well, my dad's on the swan in town, Susanna, isn't he? And they've only gone and left me looking after her, Bill oh, Sounds dead interested. <sighs> yeah, it is if you like babies and kids tell you. <laughs> I'll see you later. Sure. You stayed here all night? Every man needs a break from distress. Have you tried to speak to Jackie yet? You see, it's about responsibility, isn't it, being a dad? And doing it right. And children to care for, and one of them being left behind by the world. And why shouldn't she go on holiday? That's my job to provide. And they'll stop you if they can. Who? Them in the club. Warm comfort boxes. And now she's one of them. What do you mean? Her, a boss, my own wife! <laughs> Not that I've anything against her, but what she stands for. Trampling on us. The pavements, look at them. All around the city. Uneven pavements. Rubbish piling up in back entries. But not in the posh areas. Oh, no, no, no. There was someone should stand up and speak for the people. A campaign. The People's Councillor. Give them a voice. Jimmy, look, um... When we get back from town, why don't you come up to the flat, get cleaned up, have something to eat, yes? Give them a voice. today. <laughs> well, I don't like to tempt fate like, but I'm late. Oh, the boss will go mad. Got to be on time for work. Marty! How late? Two days. You shouldn't have told me. I'll be all tense for you now. Well, don't be. Just send positive vibes down here. <sighs> you betcha. I'm going to the shops. Hey. <gasps> don't forget, I love you. Not as much as I love you. Oh, no, it's more than that. No chance. Hello, love. You look a bit peaky this morning. Everything all right? Fine. Hey, listen, I've got some cracking posters of this little one here. She's a bit... I'm only going to keep you a minute. Victoria! Victoria! Hey, she's got her knickers in a twist over something, hasn't she? How are you, girls? Hiya. Hey, listen, thanks a lot for this. I know it's short notice, but, well, 
I've got work to do. I don't know she'd be in good hands here. Oh, we'll look after her, won't we, precious? What about them, eh? Isn't she a little belter? Oh, she looks gorgeous. What would you expect? She's a Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, uh, I wonder if I could leave this with you and maybe you can take the odd snap of a jaw on the day for us. You know, just on the side, holding the pen, stuff like that, so I can build up an album, you know? Yeah, no props. <laughs> right, thanks. Right, then. <laughs> Look, love, I'm not being funny, and I know that you've got lots of other kids in there, but, well, can you take special care of a father? Mr Dixon, stop the fussing. Yeah, you've got loads of ways to do, remember? Come on, darling, let's get you inside. See you later, Mr Dixon. Thanks, love. Bye. Therefore, <laughs> Had a good look, have you? The eyes are the windows to the soul. Rather by the character that lived Hello, I'm trying to find a, a Victoria Wilcox, who I believe may be a patient in your clinic. Uh, no, I'm not a relative. Now, I know that I'm a GP. No, I... I'm not her GP, I... I... Thank you. It won't be long now. Have you got one, son? Yes, sir. Sure you don't want an icy, Kev? No, sir. What's up? Oh, I was just looking at some tramp down there. What tramp? Oh, someone's tossing in the bus stop. I saw someone lying there before. I didn't think it'd still be there. Didn't take long for them to move in, did he? No, it didn't. Mind you, I suppose if someone's living in there, it'll stop the vandals breaking the glass, won't it? I don't know about that. The scallies are that bad around here. They probably torch the place with them in it. Come on, lad. See you, Money. What? For the bus stop sitting. One pound two and eight. Six of chips and a scallop. Jim, have you spoken to Jackie? No. Right, come, come after that, come on. Got money? Yeah, but you need a proper meal, a drink and a wash. And here he stays. This is a bus shelter, Jim. The move you on, you know. Oh, will they? Like you made me move my arch and my message to the world on the house. And now this. Come on, let's go. Hey! I'm not part of it anymore. We're out. On the streets, in the rough. Oh, you can't stay here forever. I am staying here. I've got no one. Leave me. Leave me. Victoria. Right there, lover. Any chance of a cup of tea? Die. Your eyes. What's up? Guess. Period. Oh, die. Why, Marty? Every time. It's gonna happen. It's got to happen. 
Nobody does it better or more regular than us. I know. You know what this means, don't you? What? Means we can pig out in a big Chinese till you're fertile again. Every cloud, eh? I'll buy you the Singapore vermicelli. We might have to think about seeing a doctor or something. Oh, no. The only quack we need is a nice big fat Peking duck. Can I have a quick word, please? I'm really busy. No, this is important. And it can be said in public, Kenneth. I'm serious, Jackie. Please, just come with me for one minute. There's something you need to see. Yeah, so? OK, I know you're not speaking, but he's been out there all night. No? Oh, my God. What's he doing? Jackie, he was there all night. I think there's something wrong with him. So it will be when I get old to him. Jimmy, what are you doing? Jimmy! Jimmy, what the hell do you think you're doing? Jimmy! What are you doing? Aston? Conjugating to ponder. I've been worried sick about you! Remember those words. Have you slept in here all night? Homeless? She's a lovely little girl. Yes, she is. Oh, no. That's typical, that. Look, Corker's making to show themselves again. Oh, maybe it's best to keep out for day, Mr Dixon. Come on. We took loads of footies of your bet today. Oh, nice one. Thanks a lot, love. First of many, I hope. Yeah. Right, I better get it back to Sinbad. OK, see you after. Thanks again, love. Ta-da. And wherefores of this and that. This is the place to stay. There's definitely something wrong here. What? It doesn't all seem a bit odd. Jackie. Jackie. I really think he needs help. Get out! Get out, you dirty little... Go on! What's up? Oh, she's just been chewing one of Steve's trainees. It gets on me nerves. We should never have taken it on. I am on your side, remember? Sorry. It's just... It's all right. I know. I'm right with you. You're pretty determined to go and see the quack, aren't you? It's no use putting it off any longer, Mart. I just don't want you building up your hopes. But I want to know if there's something wrong with one of us. I don't know. Something internal or whatever. All right. I'll just finish clearing up the garden and then we can have a chat about going to see the doctor. While I was out, I popped into the medical centre and... And what? Booked us an appointment to see the doctor. <laughs> and you didn't hang around, did you? You know me, love a boy. I'll make that cuppa now. <sighs> Jimmy, look, why don't you just come up to the flat and we'll discuss things up there? The discussion stopped moons ago. Lecture and teach and social engineering, pushing and pulling this way and that. For what? For love. To be told the scrap heaps over there, join it! Jimmy, you're making this show with me. Who cares? Well, I thought you did telling me you love me. In a dead marriage forever. And go away. <laughs> what are you talking like that for? I was just annoyed with you, that's all, you stupid idiots. I didn't want him to go, you know. No. Jimmy, you can sort this out, you know. We've been through worse than this, Jimmy. Blah, 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 yeah, yeah. Rasputin. What about him? Who cares about him? No one. Here, he stays. Stupid guest! Come on! Come on, get up! Don't just sit there like an idiot! Get up! Get the ball, Jimmy! Move! Hit me back! Come on! Hit me back, Jimmy! Jimmy, you scared him! She knows it. Just please, Jimmy, come on. <laughs> oh, let's, let's <laughs> ah, 
there you go, boys. Hope you can manage them. Cheers, mate. Listen, can we have the bill as well, please, mate? I want to get back over to ours for Beth. Yeah, no problems. I've got some nappies there for Leo as well. For Leo? <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, for Beth. Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. Cheers, mate. Right, where were we? You and the kids on, having a ball. That's right. Well, Christmas was the best. Every year, parties, toys. We getting big Brazil. Can I go over to the toilet, please? Of course you can, mate. Upstairs, first on the right. Right, don't forget to wash your hands. Christmas was great. Being in care was boss. What fairy stories did you read? I can't tell Andrew the truth, can I? It'll only upset him. Anyway, Christmas was all right. Just. All I ever wanted every year was for my mum to walk through the door, get hold of me and say, it's all been a big mistake, come home, son. I know what it's like for you, you know, Kev. I mean, kids get a hard time after teachers and they say they're going to bring the man or the dad. Well, being in care, I could never say that, and I hated it. And I know you can't say it, so it's tough for you. But I understand, Kev. And I'll always be on your side, cos I've been there. If you wanted to go for a big day out, where would it be to? Oh, Kevin wants to go to Alton Towers. Do you, Kev? Well, well, listen, that's all right with me, you know. Alton Towers is fine. Oh, well, that's oh. great. Good. Hey, hey, what's going on here? God, am I glad to see you. Got the other two upstairs now, this one. Are you taking in washing? What? Well, you seem to be running a crash. I just wondered if you were taking in laundry in your spare time, you know. Has he lost it all, what? Is Beth upstairs as well? What do you mean, Simad? Uh, hello, Leo, Beth, Michael and Rachel's baby. Yeah, there she is, there. That's not Beth. What? But, what's going on? Yeah, mate. Sid, you forgot to take these. Mike, here, a minute. Am I going mad or what? Is that your Beth or not? Uh, no, no, that's not Beth. Well, it's the one your dad brought from the nursery. Oh, I don't believe... He's brought the wrong kid round! Oh, it's the phone. Excuse me, lads. I mean, what's he had to eat or drink? Nothing. I'll take something out to him later. I've never seen him like this before, you know. It's like he detests me. I don't think he means it, though. Oh, he does, I can tell. You still love him. Oh, yeah! I mean, he was just getting on my nerves a bit more than usual, that's all. Seeing him like this. He looked right through me, didn't he? I still think he needs help. Look, you of all people know, Jimmy, can you lay your hand on your heart and say this is normal behaviour for him? <sighs> that would look cold. Ah, uh, what's he like here? Your granddaddy's going daft at his old age, isn't he? Sorry, though, we just took the wrong kid home, you know. Just made up it all sorted. So am I. We'll talk tomorrow. You shouldn't let them take the wrong child home in the first place. Good parents left you with their own children. A mistake happens off the premises. But people will say it happens at the nursery. I've got a reputation to think of. I'm really sorry, Mike. It wasn't my fault. Your dad just walked off with them. Oh, hello. So you finally decided to come round and pick her up, eh? You've got a nerve not being around to meet my granddaughter. Oh, the granddaughter that you love so very much. Yeah, the same one I'd pay a fortune to get photographed because she's special. Dad, uh, don't stick up for him, son. I have just about had her up to here with him. Have you? Well, at least I know what Beth looks like. What? Mr Dixon, you took the wrong baby out. Don't be soft. You did, Dad. That woman that you passed, it was her baby you took to Simbad's. And it's a boy. But if you can't be trusted with her, you're not going to look after her, all right? I don't, I, don't, I don't know how that could have happened. I know, especially all those photographs and everything you've got of her. Here you are, babes. There's your granddad. The one with egg on his face. Look at him, he makes me sick. Dad, this has got nothing to do with you and him. This is about my kid who you didn't even recognise. I mean, at least Simbad knew you straight away who she was. Yeah, all right, all right, I'll make it up to you. You say what you want and do what you want, but I tell you what, you won't be looking after her again, OK? Right, my break's well over. OK? Thanks very much, love. That's what Fred... 
Or friends of all. Is that what we are now? <laughs> Even after me saying what I did. Oh, listen. Put that down to a misunderstanding, love. You've been a good shoulder to cry on. <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> it might be a long road back for Jimmy. Mm. Everything's a marathon with him. Well, you... You might need a shoulder again. No pressure. <laughs> Thanks, love. See you again. Bye. John. I tried to find you at the clinic. What, so you could come down and drag me out of the place? If I could have found you, yes. Tired. So am I. <laughs> I don't matter. I'm on the edges. Darren, please. You killed my child! You flushed my child down a sluice. You didn't need to do that. And you wouldn't have done that if you loved me. You don't love me, do you? Say it. I won't forgive you for this. We're finished. No way you're moving into that flat. I am not leaving here on her own here with me, Nan. You'll be fine. Thought she'd have ended up on Simbad's floor, not in the street. And I had as much of a right as her to that child. Might as well be toes up for all anyone cares about me. That next episode is this Friday, but Brookside won't be on next Wednesday. However, there will be a special double episode starting at 8, a week on Friday, May the 5th. Too many hangovers. Going to the chemist, you want anything? Well, Darren should be back in a bit. He'll have something in his bag. <laughs> it's a great idea. Vic, what's gone on? Do you really want to know? You told him the baby was Dave's? No. I told him I was having an abortion, which I did yesterday. So. I got rid of the baby and Darren got rid of me. Thanks for being interested. Vic. It's only me. Hey, yeah. Hiya. How's your mum? Fine. I 
told we'd been looking for a new flat, so she bought us a kettle. <laughs> what? So how's things? Asking. Ah, oh, here we go again. What's she done now? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to my room. Just the usual, you mean, getting in the way of me living my life. <laughs> What's with the gob? There's no way of moving into that flat. I am not leaving here on her own here with me, Nan. I'll have to give your mum the kettle back. So I was not marvellous. Over a million pilgrims a year ago there, you know. Oh, I wish Anthony could have come. He'd have loved it. I brought him back a bottle of holy water. Oh, he liked that. You know, he blessed every room the day we moved in here. Good on him. Look, I've got some miniatures for Steve and there's some chockies for Adele. And I've brought this for you and Marty. Another sort of holy water. <laughs> oh, you are good. All right, Di. Hi, love. All right, there. The pilgrim returns, eh? Mm. Mwah. Sorry, I'm late. I thought you'd forgotten about the appointment. Oh, I got away as soon as I could. We had a major flood in the staff room toilet. I'm soaked. I just changed my kex and my shoes. What appointment? With the doc. We might have to have some fertility tests. Oh, still no luck, then? I'm afraid not this month. That's how we're going to the dock. Find out if there's a medical problem or something. But you're just getting over the move. That's enough for one month. Never mind getting pregnant as well. Oh, love. You'll be fine. <laughs> Jesse said he's been sleeping rough. He has, he has. Well, things were said, you know, and how she walked. Thought he'd have ended up on Simbad's floor, not in the street. It's all my fault this has happened. What's it got to do with you? Well, it was me who told you you'd been sacked. It all started from that. It's not your fault. I'd have found out in the end. Shall I? Yeah, please. Oh, oh hi. Hi. I was hoping I could talk to you for a minute about Jimmy. Yeah, it's all right. Ray knows he's been sleeping wrong. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. He spent the night in the bus shelter again. Better come in. Right. Why do we never have enough 50 peas? Because somebody has to go to the bank to get them, and somebody has to keep checking the floats, that's why. It's boring. Oh, that's not as boring as a bar with no beer. The lager's gone off, now. How come? Don't ask me. The bit is low and all. We'll have enough to get by, won't we? Well, we certainly have enough miles. There's gallons of that left. And what are you trying to say? That you deliberately let me put the wrong order in? No. Are you sure? Just so it looked like I messed up? Well, that'd suit you nicely, wouldn't it, Mike? No, I never. Well, I hope not. I'd hate to think you were trying to make me look stupid. All right, is this, is this one of Kylie's? Yeah. She keeps asking when her granddad's coming home. He must be out of his mind, you know, sleeping in a bus shelter. He looks so lost and forlorn this morning. What about you trying to talk to him? <sighs> I'm the last person he'll want to see. Do you want me to try and find him? I can't see you getting through to him, love. Well, it's worth a shot. I really can't believe the doctor wouldn't do anything. Well, we've been good mates on and off. He might talk to me. I mean, there's no harm in trying. I think you'd be wasting your breath. Look, is, is he allowed back in the house, like, if, uh, if I can get him to come? Yeah, of course. I didn't throw him out. OK. I'll have a go. I can't do any more than that. Taking the trouble to come round, you know. I'm caring about Jimmy. <laughs> and me. <laughs> uh, Vic told me about the abortion. Yeah, I guessed you would. And that you'd um, finished. <laughs> Makes it sound almost civilised. You know, I, I, I asked her not to go through with it. I, I pleaded with her. Well, she was pretty cut up this morning. Was she? Mm -hmm. well, you know, I had as much of a right as her to that child. I got myself really up for the idea of it, you know, by, um, 
me, a dad, and uh, and Vic, the baby's mum. And it's just exactly how I'd always wanted it to work out for us. Next step, a little um, cottage, roses over the door. Nathan, I'm sorry, I, I just I really don't want to be here when she gets back. You've been here quite a while now, according to Jessie. A couple of days, she said. It's not a spot to choose, you know. It's where the bus has stopped. Oh, yeah. Of course, I never thought of that. I bet you know this uh, timetable backwards now, eh? Look at that. People just spit the chewies anywhere. Look at that. Jackie's worried sick about you, you know. She is, honest. And the Lindsay's mate, Shelley. And me. You? You grasped me up to Jackie. Everyone who knows you is worried. What? <laughs> I'm nothing to no one, me. Oh, come on, don't say that. Might as well be toes up for all anyone cares about me. I've been there, Jimmy. I've had thoughts like that. Even me batteries are dead. A chance in life taken away from you. Bit of joy. That's a bit of company, that. I was looking at one of your Kylie's paintings before. That's sort of started me thinking. You don't know how lucky you are, Ruth. You know, being a, a dad first, then a granddad. It was something I missed out on. But I came close. Oh, so close. My wife, Rini, came home from the doctors and told me she was expecting. <laughs> I was over the moon, wasn't I? I bubbled all day. It was like all my Christmases had come, come at once. And it wasn't to be, was it? She lose the baby then, did she? She lost it all right. She got rid of it. Determined to go her own way, she was. What could I do? to stand by her, didn't I? Was to destroy you that, mate. I was cold for months afterwards. It was cold and empty inside. No. I would have loved that kid. I know I would give him the chance. You would have wanted him for nothing. I know I would, would have been a good dad. Sorry. What I'm trying to say is, I envy you. Little William is a joy. And and Kylie, I bet she adores you. Makes you think, doesn't it? About what that child of yours might have been today. That he would have been 36 years old. And perhaps I'd have had a grandchild of my own in my own arms by now. <laughs> I bet I would have made a, a good granddad. I reckon you would, mate. The best. Do you know, Jimmy, I've never told anybody about this before. I suppose I didn't want to show people my feelings. I'm on a way. I don't know about you, mate, but I could murder a cup of tea. <laughs> How about we go around to your Jackie's, eh, and catch one off her? What do you think? Hey. Eh? Jim, give it a go. Come on, old son. Lunch on the run, not good. Thanks, mate. I, um, I won't hang about. Do you want me to say anything to Vic? No, I wouldn't waste your breath. Look, just ten seconds. OK, go. Look, I, I can't let this go on. I I'm sorry, I've known you too long. I can't let work go on. Uh, you, um... thinking that Vic got rid of your baby. What are you saying? She didn't have an abortion? She had an abortion, sure. Um, what I mean is, is that... Uh, it wasn't your baby. It was Dave's. Um, 
D Dave's. I'm sorry, I, I just couldn't let you carry on without knowing. So it wasn't my baby that she got rid of? It wasn't, no. Um, right, okay. Um, um, I, I, I've, I've got, I've got to go. Uh, thanks. convinced she won't want to know him. Come on, Jim. Come on, we've come inside. Come on, I told you they'd make you welcome. Uh, look who it is, Will. Hey? Will, look, it's your daddy. Come out. <laughs> look, Will, it's your daddy. Go on in, go on. You're back home now, love, where you belong. You should have got some new curtains for the move, you know. I'd have chipped in as a housewarming present. It'll get sorted eventually. Marty, hurry up! You can't blame him for not wanting to go, you know. Who said he didn't want to go? Well, fellas, they hate doctors, don't they? Especially when they might have to have tests and things. And especially not when their manhood's being questioned. There's nothing wrong with his manhood. You know what I mean. Right, then. You ready? Um, I'll fix you a bit of a snack for when you get back, shall I? Only you might need to build your strength up. What for? Never mind you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just love us off, I'm afraid the brewery let us down. I'll just have a bottle then. All right. There you go. We can have that on the house for the inconvenience. Cheers. Thanks. Leon, you can't just go giving away free drinks, you know. How's the Beverly even charge? Is Bev back yet? No, not yet. Well, anything you need to see Bev about, you can see me instead. Sorry, it's personal. Well, business or personal, just give us a shout, OK? Will do, yeah. What did you say your name was again, sorry? Dave. Dave Burns. Nice to meet you, Dave. I'm Leanne. You a mate of Bev's then? Oh, big buddies, yeah. She wanted to leave someone she could trust in charge while she was away. Hey, listen, I thought about having a bit of a stay behind tonight. You know, just for a slight few. But well, if you fancy it. I'm sorry, I'm busy tonight. Maybe another time, then, eh? Maybe. Yeah, thanks. Well, I don't know about having a stay behind. We'll have nothing left to sell tonight. The speed will run out of ale. Well, don't just stand there moaning. Get onto the brewery and get another order in, will ya? <sighs> you just can't get the stuff these days. No, I don't think there's any reason to assume that there's any problem. Um, you know, that's the frustrating thing about conception, is it's such a random affair. We all know what happens. We've got so many unwanted children coming into the world. And, uh, and then there's folks like yourselves who can't seem to get the one thing they want more than anything. A baby. You were saying about hormone tests? Yes, of course, sorry. Um, hormone test is where we would begin, which means that we need a blood sample, which means that we need a appointment. And then it becomes a case of wait and see. Um, once we know the results of the test, then we'll have a better idea of the sort of situation that we're facing, if there's any at all, of course. You mean we might just still be unlucky? Yeah, of course, it happens all the time. One minute, nothing, next minute. Pregnant, out of the blue. So, is there anything special we need to be doing? Not until you get the results of the test back. In the meantime, just um, keep trying. You never know your luck. So, did you enjoy your dinner? It was okay. I hope to see you in here again soon. Good chance, yeah. <laughs> Are they friends of yours? Listen, you couldn't do me a favour, could you? One of those guys is someone I really don't want to see right now. It's nothing serious. He's just mistaken me for someone who's nicked his girlfriend. Well, you better step into the office then, haven't you? Cheers, thanks. Steve Burns from Knieger. Well, 
don't know anyone by that name, mate. I'm sorry. You sure? If you drank an ear and known for sure, I'll go and clear off. <sighs> this is pathetic. I mean, what are we supposed to say when Bev gets back? I'm telling you, her preferences are going to be well down. Yeah, well, she needs to be told. I mean, there's no way that Leanne's up to running this bar. Don't tell her, mate. Don't you worry about that. There's one and you can tell her from me and all. Thanks a lot. You're well rid of them for me, yeah? Yeah, I'm a tall part of the service, isn't it? <laughs> Great. I owe you one. Well, how about that statement line tonight? I could make it more of a private party. You know, just for me and you. Look, I'm not playing hard to get. If I fancied you, I'd say, yeah, OK. But I don't. So, uh, end of story. Thanks again for your help. How come you've unpacked all your bags? Why, do you think? I thought you were moving out. Yeah, well, I changed my mind, didn't I? How come? So I can keep a better eye on you. Listen, Nicky, I'm 16 years of age. I could be living in a flat. Yeah, well, you know. And while I'm responsible for you, you're going to stop behaving yourself, OK? Or what? Or whatever I decide. God, you'll have me locked in that bedroom, you will. Oh, too right I will, if it comes to it. At least this way we'll know where we stand. Yeah. No, I just felt a bit clinical, I don't know. Hiya, love. Hiya. How did you go on? Oh, the doctor was really nice about it. Very helpful. Did he manage to pin down the problem? Oh, we've a long way to go, yeah. We were just going to talk it through. Enough said. Your sarnies are on the table, so I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. I'll see myself out. Tra, love. Tra. See ya. Thanks for the scrum. Mm -mm. Bye, love. So, the doctor had some good news for us, then. I know that look. Didn't all that talk of blood tests put you off? He said that the good thing about trying to make babies <laughs> was if at first you don't succeed... <laughs> you like <laughs> roof over our heads. You always wanted more though, didn't you? Always wanted the flash car or the big house. Never satisfied with the simple things. Never satisfied having a wife and kids who loved you. And enough to get by on. That was never the cocoa way, was it? wasn't enough for you or Frankie, or you, or little Jimmy, or even our Linz. Makes me think now, you know, every time I read bedtime stories to our William, you know, fairy stories, I end up wondering just how long it'll be before his dreams are shattered. Why didn't you tell me that the baby was someone else's? I thought you'd hate me even more. You let me go for two weeks, thinking that baby was mine. Then you go and have an abortion without even discussing it with me. I thought that was my child. So then you wonder I went ballistic. So what if you had known the truth? What would you have done? I think at least it would have explained why you wanted an abortion. If I'd known you were getting rid of Dave's baby, I, I don't know. I, 
At least I could have understood why you thought an abortion was the thing to do. Because I think if you had cared about Dave, you would have kept the baby, wouldn't you? I suppose. And if the baby had been mine, and if you cared about me, you would have kept it, wouldn't you? The same as if I had known that it was Dave's, I might have reacted differently. What, like, forgiven me? I could have got over it. Same way we could get over it together. You mean back together? Why not? We split up because I, I didn't know the truth. Now I know it was Dave's baby and this was all just leftover history between you and him. You went with him while we were split up. I, I don't uh, have a problem with that. Uh, no, it's Nathan. Hang on a sec. It, um, sorry, uh, surgery. Darren, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go on. No, 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 no. Vic. Vic, tell him the truth. You've got to. No, no. You slept with Dave after you were engaged to Darren. Well, how is she? <laughs> OK. Um, yeah, I'll be done. All right, then. Hang on, where's my suitcase? It's got to be here. Are you sure it went in? Right. 2,000 pesetas to whoever cops off first. Single, unattached, looking for love. Just wondering, do you want a drink? Me? Jackie seems to be getting on very well with her new acquaintance. That's on Tuesday at 8, and then the next Brookside will be a double episode, a episode on Friday, beginning at the earlier time of 8 o'clock. And next on 4, it's Phoebe versus her hormones in Friends. Welcome to Benidorm, Sun, Sea, Sand and Sangria. No sex. Uh, that's what you're after. Dwayne's the name, solving holiday problems is the game. Do you your breath? Welcome to Benidorm. Nope. Oh, you need a little bit of a hand there. Uh, no, I think I can manage, thanks. Oh, my God. I'm surprised you're actually meant to be sexy. <laughs> hey, if it doesn't, scout spice herself. Hey. What's your name, my lovely? Lindsay Corkill. Miss? Yeah. That is just what I wanted to hear. You've made my day, you have. Oh, she drunk now. Nah, so it's like that. Hope the hotel apartment's got air conditioning. It's better than tint it. Oh, I can't sleep without air conditioning. Not in this. Come on, Tabs, why aren't you singing? España, por favor. Ole! That's right, Jules, thanks. Look at that rep, got a bit of a soft spot for you. Lovely bunter. <laughs> it might be all right once you get to open to. I'll go away, Jack, I'm not that desperate. <laughs> no, but we are. Mm. Is this it? It's great, isn't it? Right near the beach. It's a bit of a concrete jungle. There's nothing wrong with it. Bad bit spot on. Maybe I've been spoiled. There's a place. Hi. Oh, we've got your bags. All of them? Yeah, they fell. Those belong to the family of six. I don't think we're here for. Okay, Ramon. 
Hang on, where's my suitcase? Sorry, my darling. Uh, there's nothing in here. It's got to be here. Are you sure it went in? Yeah, it was with all the others at the airport. Well, don't you worry. Remember what I said? Dwayne's the lay. Any clothes? Ah, oh, you'll be all right. Ask your mates if they'll lend you some, all right? Come on. A bedroom. This is a lounge. No, that opens out to a bed. Tell me you're joking. All holiday apartments are like this. So it's two in here, two in there, and two in there. I'm not sleeping on that. Neither am I. Well, Jackie can't, it's her hand, mate. And mine. Does that put me in one of the bedrooms, then? Nice one. See you later. Uh, where are you going? I'm with Jackie. We're sharing. Well, you don't need a bedroom. You've got nothing to put in the wardrobe. Oh, thanks for reminding me. Uh, me and you should go in together, Deb. Me and you? Yeah, well, Lindsay doesn't need any bedroom facilities and Rachel's on a freebie. Is she? Yeah, and you've got Victoria's ticket. That was a gift. And I don't think Victoria would be very happy if she found out her money was wasted on a couch. Do you? Come on, Debs, let's unpack. Uh, perhaps Rachel and I should... No, the posh bird should stick together. And you don't want to be mixing with the riffraff. Well, looks like you drew the short straw. Don't be daft. Oh, come on, Rachel, I know you'd rather share with Jackie or Casey. No, I wouldn't, honest. Anyway, we're going to be out most of the time, aren't we? I can't go out. I've only got what I'm standing up in. You'll be able to buy something in town. Oh, yeah. Buy a whole new wardrobe and start for the rest of the week. Are oh, you that skin? So am I. Come on, we'll have a look through my stuff, see if I've got anything that'll fit you. Right, so I've told you what's on offer. So if any of you want to book any of your trips, come oh, and I didn't think much of this welcome in the drink. It's like the stuff my dad gets in for Christmas. I think I'll give it a miss. So, you two feeling like hens yet? Yeah, getting there. I feel drunk just from this. <laughs> uh, where's Lindsay? Still in the bathroom, said she'd follow us out. The fella's over there. Oh, Dwayne's the name, couple of the Lindsay's the game. <laughs> oh, dear. What suits us? Three kamikazes, two blastaways and a brain tumour. I only wanted an orange juice. On a double hem week? I don't think so. All right, girls, party started already, has it? Gonna book in for some of these trips. They are out of this world. Be soundy. Eh? Any good bars to go to? Any good bars? <laughs> You're joking, aren't you? Here, take these cards. You mention my name in there, and your first drink will be fresh. Oh, thanks. Hey, where's Scouse Spice? Lindsay. She should be out in a minute. I think she wants to have a word with you about a bag. Tell you what, tell her to give me a ring. Tell her I'm on the case. Get it on the case. <laughs> Look, um, why don't you speak to yourself? Well, she's not here, is she? No, um, I mean, tonight, we're gonna be in the Maasai bar at about 8 o'clock. She'd be mates up to see you. Would she? Yeah, um, she was just saying how impressed she was with that talk you gave on the coach. Yeah, and that's not all she was impressed with. All right, well, uh, she finds me that irresistible. Uh, I'll uh, catch you later. <laughs> <laughs> that is terrible. <laughs> Hiya. Hiya. Did he fit? Well, kind of. Was that the, uh, the rep? Yeah, you've just missed him. Are oh, you joking? I want to speak to him about his suitcase. Oh, well, I wouldn't worry. He reckons he'd be around here all the time. Yeah. We'll probably bump into him later. <sighs> this is Grace, isn't it? What is? I was in Spain. I know, yeah. Would you remember our first holiday? You got so drunk on the first night you couldn't drink for the rest of the week. <laughs> and you've copped off with that meth who worked on the beast when he shaved his legs. <laughs> I know, we had to be mine. <sighs> it was a good laugh, wasn't it? Yeah, too right it was. I hope this holiday's as good. Be final fling, eh? Jack, I can't believe it. You're getting married. I know. It's a bit scary, isn't it? I'm gonna do without you. Oh, don't case you, make your mascara run. To the girls. To Benadol. To me and you. No, to you and Nathan. What, getting divorced? No, having 20 kids and lasting forever. I really want you to be happy. Oh, come here, you div.
that's me done. Aren't you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can't go out dressed like that. We are going to a club, you know. I'll probably just have a couple of drinks and... Hang on. What have you got there? Where? <sighs> now, if you wanted to lend some of my gear, you only have to ask, you know. Oh, I don't. I was just... You can borrow whatever you want. I don't mind. It's all girls together. You can try it on if you want. No, really. You're not that much fatter than me. I think there's somebody else amongst us whose need is far greater than mine. Who? Somebody whose case is probably halfway to Madrid by now. Oh, my God, Lindsay. Of course. Oh, sorry about that, Debs. Maybe next time, eh? Oh, I'll go and have a little word. Right, I've got orange, Jack. Oh, yeah. Rach, just a small one. Don't want to pee too soon. You can fill mine up. You got it on you. She is not bothering anything am I. What are you going to do about knickers? Oh, Katie, don't. You're going to bring me paella back up. <laughs> is it a bit too tarty? Hey, you cheeky cow. No, no, it's just a bit short. But it looks nice. It's not really me, though, is it? Why? What's wrong with it? Nothing. It's just... You look great. Don't you reckon, Katie? You'll have to borrow Bev's stuff for the rest of the holiday. I'll get the first round. Who? Do we in the pain? Oh, God, I don't know. The bit of luck, Lindsay will cop off them, do us all a favour. Hello? Buenas tardes. Tres beer. Sorry, I have to speak English. <laughs> Three beers, two pina coladas, and a glass of white wine, please. <laughs> I want to see if I can find a phone. Didn't you call Mike today? Yeah, I just want to make sure the baby's all right. All right, gorgeous. Yeah. Fancy seeing you here. All on your lonesome? I'm glad I've seen you. Feelings mutual. What do you want to drink? OK, well, I'm glad everything's all right. And give Beth a kiss for me, won't you? She's got someone after her. Oh, in case I'd rather be single than jump into the bed with likes of him. Oh, I don't know. I've had worse in my time. Like you? Well, wrong for a start. Oh, look, do you mind if we keep away from you and my dad this holiday, please? You've had a relationship with Jackie's dad. A relationship? I lived with him for three years. To me, that broke his marriage up. So, same again. Not for me, thanks. Uh, but I thought we were out for the night. Look, I'm on holiday with the girls. I'm not interested in copping off. Yeah, but I thought... I don't care what you thought. I don't want to go out with you. I just want you to find me case, all right? Come on, Debs. I'm not the only one with a love life. I'm just a few. Bev? Sorry? You know, out of all the fellas you've been with, who comes out top in the sack? Um, gosh. I really couldn't say. Well, there must be someone. Can we change the subject? Oh, <laughs> you're not all shy on us, have you, Deb? It's only us, you know, mate. <laughs> How about you, Jack? Who do you think my husband to be, of course? Nathan! There's nothing of them. I like something you can hang on to. Hey, yeah. Where have you been? Oh, no. Again. Well, Mike's on his own, isn't he? I wanted to check everything was all right. We've just been comparing fellas. Mm, best I ever went with was this waiter in Corfu. He must have been with a different woman every night of the week cos he knew exactly what buttons to press, if you know what I mean. Well, as fellas I've been out with have only been bothered about themselves. I don't think I could get any better than my Mike. Mike? Oh, I, yeah. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You've been with Jackie's brother as well. Oh, yeah. Didn't you know? Got a little boy, Josh. Image of his dad. Right. 2,000 pesetas to whoever cops off. Hey, I'm getting money's in a fortnight. Yeah, so am I, and I've got a baby. I can't cop off. We're not going to tell anyone. Look, I think the hens will leave the holiday room answers to you, lot. Thank you. So, um, how's it going on with Dwayne? Oh, I wouldn't touch him with a 40-foot barge pole. Oh, I thought he's made a lovely couple. 
Well, Tina, any decent fellas yet? Oh, there's loads of them. They're all gagging for them. We just haven't been to the right bar yet, that's all. I think it's good, isn't it? Well, you've seen more life in Bull Cemetery. Said we should have gone to Ibiza. Not more it's like to cop off, it's been that long. Hey, you never know, Mr. Perfect could be just round the corner. Oh, I, yeah. This is Katie Rogers you're talking to, Jack, the kiss of death. <laughs> all right. Just wondering. Do you want a drink? Me? Yeah. Uh, I've got one, thanks. Where are you from? Liverpool. Yeah, so are we. Whereabouts? Manor Park. Oh my god, so are we. Um, do you want to sit here? Yeah. Manor Park, eh? Brookside Close. Yeah. I'm from Parkside. It's only five minutes from yours. You're with your friends. Yeah, double hen night. Oh, eh? Hey. Not yours. No, I'm still young, free and single. God knows why. You are gorgeous. Bet you that's all, I guess. No, honest. Just you. Oh, my God! The dirty man! <laughs> She's only just met you. <laughs> yeah, Nicky. <laughs> <laughs> Girls. I'll go in a minute. Oh, not for me, thanks. Oh, come on, you poor. Mm. Head number two will have one when you reach. Oh, I feel a bit sick, to be honest. All right. Oh, yeah. Just checking to see that's my brother. It's to see you, mate. I don't know. We haven't even been introduced. One minute they were talking, and then the next minute. She had a tongue down his throat. <laughs> you from Liverpool, then? Oh, you're on the ball, aren't you? Do you mind if we join us? What do you think, mate? Shall we let him? Do what you want. So, what's your name, then? Right, Jackie. I am not sitting here all night watching them get off with all kinds. Gonna get a man if it kills me. What, well, just anybody? I'm sorry, Dad, but I didn't come on holiday to wake up twiddling my thumbs every morning. I want to go to a club, pop off. Oh, God, I've had enough of clubs to last me a lifetime. Oh, come on, these Spanish islands are buzzing all night, raves, everything. <laughs> We're not on an island. Hey, you're a bit old school, Ravy. Speak for yourself. That, that, um, I don't think I could afford 20 quid to get in the club anyway. No, neither can I. Oh, well, then sod the lot of you, I'll go on my own. To a nightclub? I'm sorry, but I came on holiday to enjoy myself. I'll see you later. Beth? See you, Jack. Yeah. Is she yeah. gonna go after her? Nah, I think she can look after herself. And anyway, she probably won't want those cramp in her style. Are you winding me up? No, seriously. We work on a yacht. One of them big ones parked in Menina Greenwich. Go away, you liar. No, I swear it's sound. The owners hardly ever use it. Me and Aklin spend half the day fishing, and you're half lying in the sun. Well, hang on a minute, just rewind a couple of sentences. <laughs> Did you say Clint? My dad was a fan. It was lucky for me, my mum was into Robert Shaw. <laughs> Jackie seems to be getting on very well with her new acquaintance. He's waiting for his brother. You're joking, aren't you? He's nearly tripping over his tongue. Mm -hmm. I'm only talking to him. And Jackie won't even look at anyone else. She's getting married in a barn. I don't know. They seem to be getting on very well. So you and Katie live together, do you? Oh, we used to. We've been mates for years. Oh, that's Andy. Two brothers, two mates. Oh, I'm sorry, Rob. And what is he spoken for? Oh, right, that's my night ruined. I'm on me, Henry. Any chance you're changing your mind? Not at this stage. Everything's paid for. Don't suppose you fancy heading back to the hotel? Yeah, I won't mind. I want to give my ring before it gets too late. Yeah, I don't want to blow all my money on the first night anyway. I'll see if I can go and get us a cab. So we can all pile on tomorrow? Be fancy, it, yeah. But well, what about the owners? They won't know, will they? I mean, they're there tonight, but after that, we probably won't see them for weeks. Oh, that'd be brilliant. I'll ask your mates, see what they reckon. Ah, yeah. I guess what, Robbie and his brother have invited us on the yacht tomorrow night. Apparently, it's massive. I love both, eh? <laughs> Look, we're getting off. Already? Oh, poor Deborah's never been off this lake before. The nerves are gone. <laughs> Come on, Rach. See ya. Oh, all right, then. Well, well, anyway, it was dead nice meeting you. You said that was going on. What do you mean? Well, I can't leave our clink, can I? I don't think he can leave you, mate. Do you reckon they'd be able to separate me if they are, Yeah, of course you can. I'm gonna be longer, promise. Oh, don't say that, Katie. You want this to be a night to remember? Do you look all right? Yeah, you look gorgeous. <sighs> Thank you, Jack. You can do the same for me one day. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, still in Glass. I don't believe it. He doesn't speak English. At last, an oasis in the desert. Muchas gracias. I wonder how Bev's got on. Do you reckon she's finally copped off? Hopefully, she's fallen madly in love with one of the locals and will move in with him for the rest of the week. <laughs> I think that's wishful thinking. Why did both of those boys come back? Do you think one of them thinks he has a chance with Jackie? No, 
could just come back so he's not on his own, that's all. Right, right then, we'll see you later. Uh, well, I'll give you still about half two. Will that be enough time, Clint? Let's go before she has something she regrets. Don't do anything now. Can do. Matt doesn't leave much. Come on. Daisy, Harry. <laughs> So, looks like it's just you and me then. Hey, I'm a married woman, then. So, why should that stop you? Hey, they've gone. Who? Katie and that fella, they've gone up to the room. She's only just met the guy. Hang on, it's not like she'll sleep with him. Won't she? Yeah. Thank God yous are still up. Ben. Oh, have I had a nightmare or have I had a nightmare? What's up? Well, I paid to get into this club, right? Turns out it was a flame and a lap dancing ball. <laughs> and they wouldn't give me my money back. Pretending they couldn't speak English. I have had murder. So you didn't come off then? No. I'm too busy looking at the dancers. Hey, he's a bit tasty though, isn't he? The waiter? Oh yeah, bit of all right. And I notice he isn't wearing a wedding ring. Go on. Are you trying to get me drunk? It's too late for that, isn't it? Hey. Just fancy going for a walk or something? A walk? It's one o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we could go down the beach or something. It's sound this time of night. It's dead romantic. I suppose I've got two hours to kill. Oh, thanks very much. Come on, then. Let's show you the beach. Rachel's. I'm like you. Single. Unattached. Looking for love. That poor man. You won't leave him alone. He's probably made up. Like most fellas, go soft as soon as anyone flusses their eyelashes at them. Where did Jackie go? I don't know. I see that young man's gone too. Yeah, she must have gone up to her room. And why should I say good night? So, this Nathan bloke, what's he like? He's lovely. He's tall, good looking, and a good laugh. What's he do? Solicitor. So he's loaded. <laughs> yeah, and his dad's a Viscount. Oh, bloody hell, I've got no chance, have I? Oh, sorry, Rob, I told you before, I'm already spoken for. A month's time, I'll be living it up in London. What, you're moving away from Liverpool? Yeah. Why? Because that's where Nathan's new job is. So? Well, I want to go to London. I like London. Oh, I hate it. I can't stand the place and I can't stand the people. I've always enjoyed it when I've been there. Yeah, you'd enjoy your day out at Alton Towers, wouldn't you? But you wouldn't want to live there. <sighs> Must be one hell of a fella, this Nathan. How do you mean? Just being the girl like you to marry him. It's all about a whirlwind, to be honest. He took me by surprise. Oh, yeah? Never dreamed he'd end up getting married, but he asked me and I said, yeah, and all of a sudden it's happening. So now you're moving 200 miles away from home? Don't you mind me. I suppose you'll be wasting your breath of it, trying to talk you out of it. What? Jackie, what are you doing marrying a Viscount son when you can have me? Um, let me get back. Jackie, where are you going? At the hotel. See, you are a very handsome man. Very handsome. And I have very high standards, cos I'll tell you that now, you know. I don't just go with anyone, cos I am going to give you a night to remember. You're not going to know what's it, you. Right, that's it. I've had enough. I'm going to bed. And me. You coming? I think I'll stay up a little longer. Go for a walk before I turn in. Now! I'm not tired. See you in the morning. See ya. What about Bev? Well, I suppose we'd better see what she wants to do. Bev, it's after two. We're going to bed. <laughs> I think he's had a lucky escape. <laughs> I've never done what I did tonight. What? Just gone up to a girl and started snogging her. Have you talk of it? <laughs> It was mad. It's like it looked at you across the bar and knew you. But we've passed each other in the street about a million times. I never let on to each other. Until now.
Jackie, hold on. Look, I'm sorry about what I said. I was just being honest, that's all. Didn't mean to upset you. Come on, don't go all weird on me. I haven't gone all weird. You're not exactly falling over yourself to talk to me, are you? I'm just tired, that's all. I want to go to bed. You still coming the boat tomorrow? Yeah, as long as you behave yourself. Look, I've had a dead good night tonight. I haven't half enjoyed your company. You're a boss girl. I just can't get my head around you marrying some public schoolboy from London. I mean, you must only be about 21. 23. Sure you want to get tied down at that age? Yeah, I want to spend the rest of my life with him. Why? I've got to go. Gotcha. Lindsay, you better have that money back by facing tomorrow. We'll just have to camp here until the morning. I'll stay here all night. Come on, Spill. It's private. <laughs> 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 Brookside's Friday showing is an hour-long hen night special from 8 o'clock. Now, how can grown adults get so emotional about their cars? Loss and grief over Ronda the Honda. Deals on wheels is next. <laughs>